Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a cook with me and I'm going to show you how I make my homemade hamburger helper. Um, I've made this recipe probably like three, four, maybe five times. Um, I do use a, print, a recipe off Pinterest and then I change it and adapt it to what my husband and I really like. So we don't like a lot of onion or garlic, so I normally change that. Normally we increase the cheese because we like uh, a little more cheese. Um, and yeah, I just change things out. So I will make sure to put in the description box below. I will put the recipe I use and I will put our changes down below. Um, so yeah, so let's get to cooking. And if you guys have recipes that you guys would like to see, just let me know in the comments below. Um, if there's a certain meal you want to see or something you'd like, um, a recipe you'd like me to follow and show, I can totally do that. But let's start cooking. So I already have all my ingredients out. I just have everything set out, the recipe and everything ready to go so that I can just put everything in the pot and just start cooking. Um, I think that's way easier for setup and for the ground beef that I have I pre-cook the ground beef and then I freeze it so that it is ready to go whenever I have these meals and so that way it really cuts down time and it makes it so your meal will only take about 30 minutes because um, when you have crazy kids that need to eat or you guys are you know your family's ready to eat um, it's nice to just have it already ready so that you can easily throw everything together. Okay, so in this pot over here, we are boiling water and I have it on the quick boil because we are go need to boil our pasta before we can um, use it in the meal. So over on this side, I am going to start heating up that ground beef. So you're gonna put, you're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in. It doesn't have to be measured, um, but it does call for a tablespoon. So I just eyeball it and I put a tablespoon of olive oil in. And then you wanna take that, your, that frozen ground beef that you have and you want to start heating it up. And a little trick that I like to do to heat it up faster is I put just a little bit of water in it even though the recipe doesn't call for that. That just breaks up the ground beef quicker and it allows it to cook and fall faster. And then this is definitely where you want to use a lid so that the, you want to use a lid so that the heat stays in and so that it, um, heats through it quicker. As you can see, it's already boiling, so we're gonna take that eight ounces of pasta, or two cups, and we are gonna get it cooking. And I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit, so it um, just brings it back down to a simmer. We, I use the quick boil, so it heats up super quick, and then I turn it down um, just so it doesn't overflow from the pot. As you can see over here, it's already starting to break up because I just put that little bit of water in the pan and because I used a lid, which again will make um, your cook time a lot quicker. So we're just gonna let both of these simmer. We're gonna wait until the pasta is soft and we're gonna wait until all of the ground beef is, um, is thawed out. So now that the beef is most of the way thawed, I'm going to add the onion, the garlic, and the Italian seasoning. And then one and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning. And I ran out just of Italian seasoning, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra. And then you want to stir that in. Now we're going to whisk in our flour over here, and that is two tablespoons. So one tablespoon. And two. And we are just going to mix that in. And 
Now again, if you were cooking your beef from fresh, you would have wanted to, um, to drain off the excess fat. Uh, mine just was frozen, and so I had done that um, when I originally had cooked the beef. Okay, so now that the flour is in, just give your noodles a little stir. And then over here, you want to add your two cups of beef stock. So for me, what I do is I don't get the chicken stock or the beef stock at the store. So I use two beef bouillon cubes and two cups of water. So one bouillon cube per cup of water. Let me just add that in. And I'm now going to switch to a spoon. Since it's becoming more of that soupy texture right now as we add all these ingredients in, it's a lot easier to use a spoon. I'm going to put it on medium, medium high heat. Okay, so now we got the bouillon cubes in. Let's put in the bouillon cubes and the beef and the water for the beef stock. Now let's do our one can of tomato sauce. We will just open that and add that in. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we want to um, bring this to a boil, simmer for about six to eight minutes, um, and then we will add the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so now that it's been boiling for um, about six minutes, I'm gonna put the um, pasta in. And now I'm gonna put the heavy whipping cream in, or the heavy cream. Now, we personally don't always like to use heavy cream. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. It just depends on if I have it, if I don't. But today, I'm gonna do the substitute for it. So I'm going to do half a cup of milk, and I'm going to do four tablespoons of butter um, as my substitute. And the butter, um, as part of the substitute, the butter and the milk are gonna give it a little bit of that thickness of uh, whipping cream. It's not gonna be exactly the same, but it still will create that same effect. Because a lot of people don't have whipping cream in their fridge, and a lot of people also don't wanna spend three and four dollars on a, uh, a little bit of whipping cream to not use the whole thing for recipes. So using milk and butter that most of the time you already have in your house, it's it's saved you money and it's a lot easier because you already have it ready to go. Okay, so the butter is now melted. And we are going to add the salt and the pepper. The last thing that it calls for is one and a half cups of cheese and so I am going to turn it down to simmer um, and then I'm going to put in that one and a half cups of cheese. Again, I am going to eyeball it about half a cup. That's probably about a cup. Most of the time we end up putting a little bit of extra cheese anyhow, just depending on, you know, sometimes if I'm trying to be a little quicker and I don't let it sit and simmer as long. I might need some extra cheese, like even more cheese. Uh, if I don't let it, if I let it simmer a really long time, it might not need as much cheese. And then also it's just personal preference. It's how much cheese you want, how thick you want it to be. Um, 
cooking is all about what you want and cooking for your family and what your family so i always take a recipe and then i change it to what we like and um how we like certain things to taste this is almost done i'm probably gonna put a little bit more cheese in it and let it sit for maybe two or three more minutes and then i'm going to serve it it is a little um it is a little less thick it's um, more soupy and that's okay um i probably should have let it simmer for a couple more minutes but i can hear <laughs> i can hear they're hungry so um it's a little less soupy but honestly after it sits in the fridge the next day it's perfect it sucks overnight it's the noodles suck in that water and it's not soupy like this at all it's all it's thicker and it's more of like a pasta sauce than um more of a soupy texture right now So this is about it. I'm just gonna put a little more cheese in and that's gonna be that. Probably just put about a handful in. And then that is gonna be about it. I'm gonna let that melt, simmer for about two more minutes and then we're gonna be done. So that's all for today's cook with me today i hope you enjoyed seeing how i make my hamburger helper using a pinterest recipe and then adapting it to what my family likes if you're new to cooking don't be discouraged just keep on trying follow the recipes and then as you feel more comfortable change out ingredients do substitutions and everything like that um, if you need any help with it, just let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to try and put out a new cook with me on Wednesdays. Um, I really like to cook and so I'd really like to share some of that and share some of the tips that I know. I've been cooking for a long time. Ever since I was young, my parents taught me and I love cooking. So I cook all the time, um, like I said. But if you like today's video, hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any requests for videos, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to do any recipes, any cook with me's, anything like that. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will talk to you on my next video. Bye y'all.